I grew up on a cocoa farm where my father was a farmer. As a farmer, I often see my father separating certain yam or corn. I later understood that there is a different harvest for most plants. Some harvest is to be eaten, some are to be sold, while some are to be kept for planting in the next planting season. People who understand money approach it the same way my father approached farming, while those who don't understand money do the wrong thing with it. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the difference between how the rich think about money and how poor people think about money. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here's the thing, the rich often think about their income as seed, while poor people often think about their income as fruits. The Fruit and the Seed Remember the earlier story I told you? As a farmer, my father understood that certain percentage of his produce have to be kept to be planted in the next farming season. That was the only way we could continue being prosperous as farmers because without seed, we'll have nothing to plant in the next farming season. Most people don't have any seed. To them, their income is a fruit, the fruit of their labor. No, your income is a seed. To understand how our brain works, let's think about a computer. A computer has the read-only memory ROM and random access memory RAM. Every computer has a default setting and the settings you can adjust. So it is that every brain has a default setting about every important thing. We all have default setting about money. For certain people, their default brain setting about money is a seed while to others, their default brain setting about money is the fruit. In other words, some people primarily see money as a fruit while others see it as a seed. Unfortunately, more than 90% of people in the world see money as fruit. When you see money primarily as fruit, you spend before you save. When you see money primarily as seed, you save or invest before spending. The rich think about their income as seed, poor people think about their income as fruit. We all have problems about money. If you see money primarily as the fruit of your labor, the first thing you do when you have money is to spend it. The problem with this way of thinking is that sometimes you may think that if you buy everything you need and have some money left, you can save. It never works because you can never buy everything you need. You can never buy everything you need because the world is filled with a million products and another million upgrades. Apple is working hard to sell you a new iPhone. Samsung is working hard to sell you a new Galaxy phone. Lexus is working hard to make you want the new model of their car. Ferrari wants you to join the club of luxury car users. So as long as you want to spend before saving, you'll never have enough to save. The problem of the other group of people, those who see money as seed, those who save before spending is similar in context to that of the first group. For instance, many months I've put my family to the risk of having no money, not even a thousand dollars for an emergency even though I make good money. The problem I have is simple. I have investment debt everywhere. So much that whenever I earn money, almost everything goes into investment. Then my family has to suffer for the essential needs. But I think the second problem can easily be overcome than the first. The rich think about their income as seed. Poor people think about their income as fruits. How the rich think about money For most people who are rich today and those who will be rich in the future, money is never a fruit to be enjoyed. Money is a seed to be planted. You can only truly enjoy money after you plant it as seed and the seed yields more fruit. In other words, the rich always invest their money into an asset, then wait patiently for the assets to yield the return. Then they use their return on investment to buy luxuries. The opposite of this is what the poor people do. They make money and buy luxuries. If you have followed many of the videos on this channel, you must have heard me a few times criticizing the poor people who use iPhones. This is not because I hate Apple Incorporated but because it simply doesn't make sense to me that people who earn $3,000 a month will buy a phone for $1,000. In fact, some buy iPhones with their credit cards. I mean, I can't believe humans do that. For you to know that I don't hate Apple Incorporated, I use the iPhone too. 
But how did I buy my iPhone? Well, I bought my iPhone with less than my one-day income. This is the math. For many years, I was using the cheapest phones. Nobody ever used a cheaper phone than myself among people who make even half of the money I make. I did this for a decade while I was investing every dollar my eyes could see. So it happened at the time I decided to buy an iPhone. My business was already making more money in 24 hours than the money I used to buy an iPhone. You get what I'm talking about here, right? We all want to use luxuries and it's not a sin. But how we go about acquiring the luxuries determines whether we'll remain poor forever or we'll be rich. As an entrepreneur, someone who has studied money and how it works, I can't simply believe that people spend the money they ought to use as seed to impress others. The rich think about their income as seed. Poor people think about their income as fruits. Impatience and Poverty There have been studies that show that people who can delay gratification are those who get rich. In other words, if you are impatient, you'll be poor. If you want to have everything you need right now, you spend all the money you make as fast as you make them and nothing in the world can make you rich. Don't get me wrong, you should use good things. You should buy fine cars, fine phones and a beautiful home. But when? When should you buy these luxuries? That's where the problem is. If you are impatient, you'll be poor because you spend your money to impress today the people you ought to impress later. Believe me, I have a few people I want to impress. I have some people who told me that I can't be successful. I have some people who told me that I would fail and come back to them for food. I really love to show such people that I'm richer than them but not when I make my first $10,000. The rich see money as seed, poor people see money as fruit. If you see money as fruit, you want to enjoy it immediately as you make it. If you see money as seed, you want to plant it and wait till when it yields more fruits. This will take some time but it's the only way to truly enjoy the money. Stop seeing your earnings as fruit. Start seeing it as seed. The seed is to be planted to yield more fruits. The rich think about their income as seed. Poor people think about their income as fruits. Improve your self-esteem To truly see your income as seed, you have to improve your self-esteem because we are living in a world where everyone is trying to pretend to be who they are not. Look today at the street of most cities and see cars. 90% of those cars are owned by people who can't afford the cars they are driving. Is that the kind of life you want to live? Look at most people's home. Those are the homes they can't afford. Look at their shoes, clothes and watches. Those are the things they can't afford. If care is not taken, you'll think that stupid things are normal and you start doing them. The rich think about their income as seed. Poor people think about their income as fruits. Don't work for things that perish. Maybe you don't get it. You are too precious to work for ordinary things, things that perish. You are human, a great creature of God. You shouldn't be working for little things like cars, phones, homes, clothes or watches. You should get them for free. If a man should work at all, he should work for passion, for purpose and for assets that the next generation can inherit. In other words, it's your assets that ought to buy your luxuries. When your asset buys your luxuries, you get it for free. Take for instance, the story I told you about my iPhone. Many people in the world work hard and save money to buy iPhone. Some even finance iPhone with their credit cards. I bought my iPhone with the money I made while I was sleeping. So it was free. Because it was free, I can truly enjoy it. Because it was free, I can afford to buy another one if I lost my phone a week after I bought it. The rich think about their income as seed, so they plant it and wait till it grows before they buy luxuries. Poor people think about their income as fruits so they spend their income as fast as they earn it. In summary, money isn't a fruit except you don't work for it. It's only fruit if you make it while you are sleeping. No man should buy luxury from his sweat. Luxury should be bought from the money you make while you are sleeping so your first goal in life should be to build assets that make you money while you sleep. After you've successfully built an asset that makes you money while you sleep, then you can waste such money on luxuries because it's free money. Be smart with money. Stop trying to look rich when you are not rich. Try to get rich before you look rich. 
The rich think about their income as seed. Poor people think about their income as fruits. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We would like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now look at your screen to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.